Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Leonard Hofstetter, and it is my great honor to introduce the winner of this year's Chancellor's Award for Science and my good friend, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. But before I do, I'd like to share with you a letter from Sheldon's mother who couldn't be here tonight. Isn't that nice? His mother sent him a letter. <laughs> She's proud of him. I wonder what that feels like. <laughs> Dear Shelly, <laughs> that's what she calls him. Shelly, it's a pet name. You know what my mother's pet name for me is? Leonard. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> dear Shelly, I am so proud. Oh dear. Of you winning What's this the matter? Award, I'm getting dizzy. Joy. Don't worry, you're surrounded by your semen. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm going to faint. Right here, drink this. It'll relax you. Alcohol? I don't drink alcohol. Fine, faint. <laughs> I don't feel different. This alcohol's defective. Here, see if this one works. First of all, the projects were totally different. I was showing that classical music nurtures lima beans and makes them grow, but my mother didn't hear me. If you'd like to look at the relationship between nurturing and growth, I'd like to point out that my brother is eight inches taller than me. I'm ready. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Thanks, Shorty. I'll take it from here. All right. You people ready to have some fun? You have a basic understanding of differential calculus and at least one year of algebraic topology? Hey, right, here come the jokes. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! <laughs> right, Neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a drink? The bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. <laughs> it looks like we have some academic dignitaries in the audience. Uh, Dr. Randall from the geology department, only man who's happy when they take his work for granted. But a show. <laughs> I've kid the geologist, of course, but it's only because I have no respect for the field. <laughs> Let's get serious for a moment. Why are we all here? Because we're scientists. And what do scientists study? The universe. And what's the universe made of? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium. Everybody and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, just the Asians, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium. 